Welcome back to the morning show. The wise guy is here generating some excitement here on the morning show. And so Matt Sellen is going to join us with this electrifying lesson in electricity. <laughs> That's right. We're going to learn how to generate electricity. Okay. But you know, I have egg on my face. It's Halloween coming up, and I totally forgot. I should have done some kind of Halloween thing. So maybe we'll have You're to do Halloween. You're welcome to come back Friday. Well, right. Yeah, we can, <laughs> we can do Halloween again next week. It's, it's a fun holiday. Okay. Oh, it's, it's great. Okay. And I want some flavonoids too, by the way. So anyways, <laughs> if, if you look at the, if we can sort of zoom in on, on the little meter down here and get these coils in here, I wanted to show something that I've done before. If you move a magnet in and out of a coil of wire, you see that you've got a current flowing. This little needle moving one way and then the other way means that there's current flowing one way first and then the other way through these coils. So are okay. these plugged in? These right now are just plugged into this little meter. Okay. And so it, what that means is that you can actually make electricity flow by just moving a magnet near some wires. Cool. And <clears throat> that's how you generate electricity in a, in a power plant. And the way a power plant works, actually, I'm going to just take this magnet and I'm just going to spin it. Now, if you look at the meter, you'll see that the meter's flipping back and forth. Oh, it is. Okay. I had to go around and see it. Right. And mm. so you can generate electricity then in a very easy way just by having some sort of magnetic armature and just rotating it near some coils and then picking up the electricity from those coils and you see the needle going back and forth and back and forth. The kind of electricity you get when you put a rotating magnet in some coils is called alternating current. You can see that here on this needle. First it went one way, then it went the other way, then it went one way, then it went the other way. Okay. And that's what you get if you look in the wall outlet of your house that's what comes out of the, the power plants. The current flows one way, then the other way, and in fact, it switches direction 120 times per second. Wow. That, that's called AC or alternating current. And I have some other generators here just to sort of illustrate this. Um, <clears throat> over here is a, is a hand crank generator. What's, what this black thing is on the outside is just a big magnet. And here you're actually rotating the coils instead of the, the magnet itself. Kind of looks like a pencil sharpener. Yeah, and so what you see here is that if you rotate a little faster, you can see the light kind of flickering. It's a lot of work, Sorry, isn't it? I've got the other side. <laughs> there we go. Wow. And so we're, we're making the light flicker, we're making the <laughs> propeller turn. And if I open these switches, so I disconnect the propeller and the light, what happens to the crank? Oh, it's a lot easier. I it's try to do it much, with my left hand again. It's much easier, isn't it? Okay, so I'm what happens is, if you want to power stuff, it takes work to generate the electricity. Right. Right. So that means that if in the summertime, that's probably good enough. I don't want to wear you out. In the summertime, when everybody's running their air conditioners and so on, you have motors, electric motors that have to right. turn, and, and it just takes a lot more work and a lot more power coming out of the power stations to supply you with that just because you have a lot of things hooked up. If nobody right. turned on anything, the power stations would just sit there and spin, and they wouldn't need to do any work at all. And so a lot of the electricity we get, not around here perhaps, but uh, in some places, is generated by gravity, believe it or not. And so and that's called hydroelectric power. You have water flowing down a chute, and you use that water as it falls to turn a turbine, and that turns a generator. And I don't, didn't want to bring in water, but here we can solve Thanks. how we can use uh, uh, gravity to generate electricity. I just have a weight here going over a pulley, and it's just pulling oh, on this little generator, and you see the light light up. And so cool. what we did here is we turned gravitational potential energy into light. And so we can use all kinds of things to power these generators. There's gravity or hydroelectric power. There's nuclear power like we have up in Clinton. There you use nuclear heat, basically, to mm -hmm. make steam. That turns a turbine. Or you can use gas or coal-fired fi power plants and everything else. All right. And so we what are I'll do, making electricity. That's right. And in the next uh, segment, I'll talk about how we can do this sort of in reverse by making a motor that runs on electricity. So we're going to build a little motor. Okay. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Maybe we can use it to power a rocket-powered car or something. We can work on that. All right. <laughs> that would be cool. I know that's one of Albert's favorites. <laughs> well, still ahead on the morning show, we're gambling for a good time in today's Wish You Were Here postcard. Plus, there are lots of new fad diets that promise some big results coming up on the morning show. Today's good housekeeping report weighs in on whether they work.